are your rankings stuck? Was your SEO positions going up and up and now suddenly it's starting to fluctuate? In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost up your rankings. Now, before I get into this video, let me go into the obvious stuff first before I go over the big tactics that you need to be using. And also, I'll be announcing the winner of the API key in the end of the video. And if you didn't already know, I'm giving away an API key every video for the Easy SEO extension. So you don't need an API key to use this, you don't need to pay a penny to use this, but if you want to use the Keyword King, then you will need an API key to use it to its full extent. And again, this is a free Chrome extension. It's the best out there in my opinion. The reason why we built it was because we were using an entire stack of Chrome extension and I just got sick of it. I said, let me just go with one. So let's get straight into the obvious stuff first. So first of all, first of all, the search intent. So what is it? So all you're going to do, and again, I know this is a bit painful. You probably already know this, but for the sake of clarity, I'm going to cover it. So take your target keyword and see what's already ranking. So we got videos, well guess what? Videos at the top were probably, probably best to get on YouTube. Now there's a Reddit, there's this, so what is it? I'm assuming it's a blog post here. I'm just taking a second to load. Yep, it's a blog post. So that's a good sign because our dummy site version is a blog post. I believe this is another forum. So let's see if this is a blog post, yep. So guess what, it's a listicle style blog post. So after that, make sure the keyword is a meta title and then a H1 tag. Again, another obvious thing, but I have to go for it. Um, so the H1 tag is this one here. So you can do an inspect element or you can just use the SEO extension. Um, so you can just go to subheading. So the H1, best graphics card for i9 9900K. So yeah, it's in the H1. And when it comes to the meta title, um, as you can see at the top right here, it says the keyword in there. So now that's the obvious stuff out the way. So here are some tactics that will shoot it up. So first of all, check for keyword cannibalization. I don't know why, but so many SEOs miss this. So a very simple method to do this is simply go to Google Search Console, um, go to performance, click on pages, um, click on new, and then we're gonna go for the query. So we'll put our query in there. So best graphics card for i9 9900K. Okay, and it's just this page that's showing up for the keyword. However, if there were multiple pages, and let me just zoom in here. If there were multiple pages showing up for, these, for this keyword and it was getting clicks, guess what? Chances are it's being cannibalized. And then you can take it a step further by simply putting it into a keyword tracking tool. Like, so for example, SERP robot, you can get a free trial, put your keyword in there and see what it fetches. If it fetches another page, guess what? It's cannibalizing. So that's the first thing you're gonna to want to do, check for keyword cannibalization. Next thing is check out the page structure. So is it layered properly? So with this one, yes it is, because there are no problems coming up here. So as you can see, the H1's at the top. Uh, sometimes it'll show H2, H3's at the top of the H1. That's an illogical heading structure. So here's an example. This page right here is missing a H1. Uh, sorry, it's got multiple H1s. So I'll tell you if it's got multiple H1s, missing H1, if it's an illogical heading structure. So you can see it checks out. Now, next up is add semantic keywords, so LSI keywords. So all you can do is simply put your keyword into Google and then you can see the people also ask, and let me zoom in here. And then if you look at the meta description, if you see the bolded stuff, then guess what? That's also LSI keywords. And then you go to people, the related searches, so GPU, so make sure GPU is within the content somewhere. Uh, support, possibly, if it makes sense, then you want to add it. Now, a shortcut to this is simply use the uh, semantic sniper, put your keyword in there, and then it'll basically fetch the LSI keywords. And what this is doing is getting the results directly from Google themselves, so you know exactly where these keywords are coming from. So. As you can see here, I'm sorry if it's not zoomed in enough, so you can see 9900K 
compatible, so compatible is something you want to put in there. And if you keep going top, so you can put top GPU instead of best in there. So what GPU is needed for 9900K, so you want to add that keyword in there. That's a different keyword variation. And essentially what you're going to do is sprinkle these LSI keywords throughout the page. You can also bold it and that type of thing. Very simple, very straightforward. Another thing you can do, if your page has already been up for a little while, is simply put that page into Google Search Console, click on Queries, and then you can check out the queries. And then as we go in further, we can see lots of different keyword variations. So you can go, we've got 2023, it's 2024 now, so you can put 2024 instead. Uh, best gra graphics card to pair, so we didn't um, mention pair in that article, I believe. So very simple, very straightforward. Add those LSI keywords within the content. Okay, so next up is topical internal links. So the way you're going to find the most relevant links, and that's important, relevant links, um, sorry, relevant pages to your particular page that you're trying to rank is simply type in site colon, your domain name plus target keywords. So let's see what we get. So as you can see, type in site colon, then our website, the plus symbol, then our keyword. And as you can see, this is the article we're trying to rank. So it makes sense that it comes up at the very top. And then at the, the next one is this article here. It's, it's not an article actually, it's the category page. So you can skip that. Buying guide, that's another that's another um, category page, but we've got an article here. So it makes sense to link to our article within this page because Google sees it as something related to our keyword that we're trying to rank. Another one, so five best graphics card for Ryzen 7950X. So Google views this as another related one. So it's very simple, very straightforward. Find those related pages and internally link to the page you want to rank. So next up is get a link from the home page. The home page is the most powerful page on your website. So very simple. So you can do something like this website. So they haven't overly diluted um, their home page because you don't want to put a crap ton of links on your home page because it can dilute the links. So you can just add, I'll say, maximum of 10 to the um, page you want to rank um, to individual pages, not to the same page. One link is enough. And then you're just going to link to the page you want to rank within the home page because if you look at social media links and different guest posts a lot of the time they're going uh, back to the home page so I use the footer and basically a lot of I like to do this for e-commerce sites so I'm trying to I try to rank the category pages by linking to them within the footer so very simple so at the very bottom of the page within the footer oh this is a bad example oh terrible example <laughs> but let's look at another example so within the footer You'd want to, you could title something uh, popular pages and then link to, let's say, five or maximum 10 pages that you really, really want to rank. And another thing, you can just add it to the top menu as well. So, but you don't want it to be overcrowded with links because, again, you can just dilute it, dilute the power. So, be um, more sparing with that tactic. So, use the footer. Next up is the formatting. This is very simple. So, break up the text, add multimedia. So, images, videos. So this page is doing that. And again, you don't want it to be a big block of text. Um, maybe I could increase the text size just a little bit. But that's as far as I'd go when it comes to this one. So make sure the formatting is done correctly. So next up, backlinks. So what you want to do is use my Facebook and Flipper strategy as well as my EEAT strategy. So I won't be going over them in this video, but if you go to my YouTube channel, um, so this one is a really good one and then this one is another great way to get cheap high quality links and no it's not clickbait that's how I did it as well as watch this video um, this is another great video to watch if you're trying to build some genuine quality links to your site and increase your EEAT score because backlinks I'm sure you already know are extremely important even though Google says they're not that important they are very important so next up tiered link building now in case you don't know what this is is let's say your page here so this is your page and let's say you guest post to that page and then you have another article here and that links to your guest post so what that's going to do is power up your page that's linking to your page 
sorry, power up the page that's linking to your page and increase the rankings like that. So this can get extremely expensive because um, trying to guest post just for the sake of linking to another guest post. So instead, to keep it nice and cheap and still high quality, I'd highly recommend you watch this video, 10x the power of your backlinks. And I'll go over a great strategy you can use that's very cheap. It's not spammy at all. I use this all the time and I'll power up your links. Highly recommend that. And again, I'm not going over that in this video because I don't want to be don't want it to be super long. So let's say you're doing local SEO and I'll get into e-commerce SEO in just a second. Put your name and address and phone number in the footer. That's another way to increase your rankings, especially in the Google My Business profile. So build directory links. This is another important one. You can even build it for your niche site. So if you watch my video, hundreds of DR90 links, I'll show you how to do that. A uh, very cost effective way. And then after that, create content locally related to the area. So let's just say you live in Manchester and um, you're a driving instructor in Manchester. Well, one of the things you can do is create an article on best places for learners to drive in Manchester. Uh, something along those lines and create a bunch of articles related to driving and Manchester. Internally link them and then link them to the page you're trying to rank. So Google knows you're all about that particular location as well as that service. So that's the thing with local SEO. And of course you wanna apply the above to your local SEO as well. So when it comes to e-commerce, again, apply the above that I've gone over as well as use a silo. Now, just in case you don't know what a silo is, and this video is going a bit long, I'm really sorry. So a silo, so let's just say your category page. So that's your category page. And then you've got another category page. That's category page B. Uh, so we've got A, B, and then category page. Oh, that was terrible. So we've got the category page A, B, and C. That was a terrible B, <laughs> looks more like a D. But regardless, we've got our product pages here. All you're going to do is link from the product pages all the way up to your category page. And then you're gonna do that. And then at least one of your, um, at least there'll be one link to one of your product pages. And then another thing you can do is you can link the category pages to each other as well. And this is called a silo. Very simple, very, very straightforward. I'm really sorry about this video running a bit long. And when it comes to the winner, it's Joshua1942. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So I'm not sure how to contact you. So if you send me, if you drop me a link to your email um, in the comments somewhere, it could just be a dummy email. I'll go ahead and shoot you uh, the email, um, sorry, the API key. Now, chances are, if you've made it this far into the video, you're really interested in SEO. You're probably trying to take it full time and you want to get um, clients or improve your niche site, that type of thing. You want to improve your SEO. I'd recommend doing a one-on-one -on -one SEO call with me and I'm offering it just for £99 for an hour. Now just bear in mind, um, I've done consultations for over £400 an hour. However, I, I want it to be something that everyone has access to. So as you can see, most of my viewers, your age from 25 to 34. So I think £99 for an hour is a pretty solid price that everyone can afford. And if you can't, don't worry about it. Um, you can still use the Easy SEO extension. I'll still keep publishing these videos. Now, if you don't know who I am, let me just very quickly introduce myself. So my name's Sakes, and I've been doing SEO for over seven years now. I've worked with your local business all the way to a multi-billion dollar corporation and everything in between. I've worked with furniture companies, I've worked with uh, within healthcare, I've worked with um, a large coach comparison website, I helped them dominate the Google search results, etc. Now this channel is all about giving you tactics that you're going to struggle to find anywhere else. Things that basically no BS and tactics that actually work and most importantly they need to be easy to implement so for example the above points i've gone over here anyone can do it it's very simple very straightforward it's not technical at all and of course i respect your time so i don't let these videos go super long although this video has gone fairly long if we're going into the 15 minute mark i like to keep it up to 12 but because this was a pretty lengthy guide i try to keep it short as possible out of respect for your time 
and there's no generic advice like 99% of all the SEOs I see. It's a very simple, very straightforward, highly effective and again straight to the point. My promise to you is you won't see short and highly valuable content like this anywhere else. So thanks for your time and I'll see you tomorrow.